Hey everyone, got this question the other day and I thought you all might enjoy the answer to it. So, question is, hey Will, I've learned a lot from your tutorials, uh, developing a website, great, thank you, thank you. Um, we use gradient backgrounds in part of our website, we're on 7.1. Is it possible to modify a color theme so that it can have a color gradient instead of, I assume, a solid color? Uh, they want to change specifically the light bold and dark bold to a beige tone and blue tone. Uh, and yes, you can do that, and we'll go over that today in today's tutorial. And if you have any other questions, send them over to me. I can't answer all of them, uh, but I can try to get as many as I can. Uh, go to my website, and there's a Ask a Question button. So here is my website built out a template page. Um, you can see I've added these themes. This theme with a sort of darker blue colors is the, it's impossible to read it, light bold. Uh, but this is my light bold theme, and this black one right here, this is my dark bold theme. So these are the themes we're going to want to change. So I'm going to save there. I'm going to copy my URL up here and open up an incognito mode tab so I can see what my website looks like live. I'm going to paste it in there, and I need my slug, so I'm going to edit, jump to my gear icon, grab my, okay, so it's image block is my slug. So that is what I want to see. Paste it in there, and let's go to the live site. There we go. So I've got my two sections here. So I'm going to pull up my code, right click, inspect, and here we go. So here is my section. Now the way Squarespace breaks down their sections in their code layer is they have a section and then within the section they have two elements. And the two elements are you have your content and your section background. And so it's this, so you see as I did this drop down on the section drop down, we got our section background and we got our content. That's everything that's in there. So I want to affect this section background. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to look down here to all these CSS styles that are applied to this element, this HTML element. And you can see Squarespace has done a good job of coding because this light bold is exactly what it's called in our uh, backend Squarespace editor. So this is probably what I want to be using and this background color is the right thing. So I want to highlight all of this, this entire class, and let's copy it. So do, do, do highlight, copy, control, command C, and let's go back to our backend. So I'm in my uh, design, let's move this, I'm in my design custom CSS area. And I'm just going to paste in what I copied. So it's this dot light bold where it's not has a background class. So if the section background doesn't have a background class, and then section background. So that is what we're looking for. I'm going to do my open, closing, curly brackets. And then let's just add a linear gradient. And you do that by doing a background image, background. Remember, it's a background image, not a background color. Linear gradients are actually rendered as images, not colors. So we want to do a linear gradient, uh, gradient, and then open parentheses. Then I'm going to, I like to just open this up to make it a bit easier. I'm going to go to right, let's say, and you would have to adjust all this yourself based on what you want. This first one, you said you want it to be beige. Um, I don't really know the hex codes for that. So I'm just going to go white at 0% to, um, let's do like a, like a brown, I guess. And it's not beige, but you get the idea. Ooh, brown at 100%. Um, something was changing down here. Well, this looks way more red to me than brown, but I guess this is what brown comes out as. So there we go. And so light bold. Now if I change any of my, if I add a light bold section, if I just leave this as is on my website, this should be my light bold section. Um, let's see. Let's double check that. So I'm going to save and edit. And let's add in another section below and give it, let's change the color theme to light bold right here, light bold, yep, and there we go, it changed, so there we go, so that is a linear gradient section, that's awesome, so then we just want to do the same thing to our next section, which is right here, so I'm going to scroll back to my incognito mode page, and I'm going to look, select this section, find 
my going to do the drop down on the section to look at the nested elements within it. We got our section background and dark bold. So it's the exact same thing as before. I'm not even going to copy that. I'm just going to copy it from over here and just change this from light to dark. And then we will do, 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 do we'll do the same background gradient, but you want it to go from say light blue. Is that a, is that a thing? Can I say that? Can I do that in here? light blue ah there we go to blue now something is not changing here there we go oh, okay so i guess it's this one uh oh that's right this is some other i changed this back so there we go boom light blue to dark blue gradient so this is how you do your light bold and dark bold sections uh if you want to do the other sections you can just find them in the code over here um and actually i will probably just pull the rest for y'all and you can just take a look at which section you want to change into a gradient and plug it in. Hope that helps.